Hi my lovely Frosty fam, it's me Karen Frost here at Now Decadence and I've got a cute kawaii style set of nails to share with you. Um, I'm just showing you some stickers that I got from the lovely Louise McGuinness at SBD London so if you are after some nail stickers head on over to her website sbdlondon.com and have a have a wee we gander at what she's got she's got some cute bits and bobs so in this set i'm going to be using this last set of stickers that i'm showing you and then the rest of the products that i'll be using i've got these what are they called molds that's the word molds so you can mold gel polish you can mold acrylic and you can mold some um poly gel if you so wish with these little molds i got them from aliexpress and ebay so check those out on those websites and i'm sure you can find some i'm also using the Lon sbd london signature gel it's it's the it's a poly gel type product you know hybrid product it's really nice to work with the slip solution smells gorgeous it smells like baby powder and the smell lasts a good two three weeks on your nails it's bizarre but it does it's yeah love that stuff gorgeous so i'm using those three colors of the signature gel i've got the white the blush shimmer and the misty rose because i like them and those are the ones that I have, so those are the ones I'm going to use. I've also got various odds and, and sods, of bits and bobs. So I've got different sizes of caviar beads and little, yeah, well, I suppose they're large caviar beads, the other ones. Um, got some pearls, half pearls type of embellishment to go on top of the nail I've also got this glitter from SBD London it's an iridescent it's really nice see it goes from pink to blue it's white with a sort of pink to blue reflect and it's really really pretty so I'm going to be using some of that as well and because they're kawaii star nails you know it's they're going to have a lot going on because kawaii nails are really the unique in how they look they you know they're cute but they're out there and they have loads of things sticking up out of them so yeah i'm doing something i wouldn't normally do with this set and i really fancied the challenge challenge of kawaii style nails so that's what i'm going to do all oh, these brushes from svd london are lovely i've got the size six brush um as well that's coming um in another video you'll see that but yes for now i'm using the number four in this one so i'm first things first i'm going to squeeze onto my palette some of the spd london signature gel because i'm actually going to do a marble um it's possible to marble poly gel and i'm going to show you how i do it and this is how i do it so squeeze some of those colors out and give it a little swirl not too much just just a little bit pick up sections of that marble and place it on the nail then you can use your brush i know it looks like a mess but it will it will it will make sense in a minute trust the process um so yeah i will take my brush with a bit of the slip solution pat and press that poly gel signature gel into place on that nail and as i'm going i'm also aiding the swirl so if i think the swirl isn't looking right you'll see i start changing the direction of where i'm patting the brush to get that swirl going in a different way and i needed a bit more at the top near the cuticle area so i just added a little bit up there now you can see how i'm using my brush and i'm giving that a swirl a different direction so i've made it go up and round in a circle rather than the direction it was going because it was just going straight down and i wanted it to have more movement so yeah it's definitely possible to marble with poly gel and as long as you don't swirl it too much you'll be fine so i want to keep this not too thick because you know i don't want to bulk out the nails too much it's if you file into it and it also doesn't look that bad either but 
it's probably best you don't file into it but if you do it's not the end of the world is what i'm saying so i will flash cure that in place once i'm happy with the way the marble is looking and then i will move on to the next nail so on the little finger i'm going to add some of the white poly gel i'm going to pat that down see it's all a patting and pressing motion and stroking so that you get it nice and even looking so i'm using that at the tip at the free edge of the nail and i'll just get that tip area looking um, neat first of all and then i will bring the rest of the bead up and sort of feather it towards the cuticle area fade it out a bit because i'm going to ombre so you want you don't want this layer to be thick you need it to be thin and do really feather out that um bead towards the back because you want to bring the pink over the top of it and you don't want a harsh line being a you know you don't want it shadowing from a harsh line underneath it so i will flash cure that white in place because i don't want it to move when i add the pink on top which is what i'm going to do now so i will add a bead of the poly gel up by the cuticle area and that bead was way too big i'm just removing some of it and this is the misty rose pink color so i will tuck it into that cuticle area get that nice and neat first and then i will bring the front of the bead down and really feather it over that white so that we get a good um blend the the white hasn't fully cured yet because i only flash cured it and always remember when you're using opaque colors like white you do need to double cure them to make sure that they cured all the way through that's really important even with gel polishes you want to make sure that if you're using a black or a white and you know really opaque colors that you double cure them to make sure that they cure all the way through because with when they're that opaque they have so much pigment in them the light really struggles to penetrate the layers so double and tri triple cure if necessary but make sure that they are cured all the way through one cure is not enough in my opinion to do solid colors like that so i'm just adding some more of the misty rose where i think it's needed and then feathering it down the white i wanted more pink than white so that's why i decided to bring it down further and as you can see i will literally just use the slip solution dab it off and then pat away at the misty rose add little dabs of misty rose wherever i need it and then to fill in any areas because i don't want it to look patchy i want it to be a nice blend and you just thin it out really gently down the nail and that's where your ombre will occur so once i'm happy with that i will flash cure it in place and move on to the next nail so on the ring finger and on the middle finger i'm doing a full nail each of the blush shimmer which is a gorgeous pale baby pink with this beautiful gold shimmer running through it it is stunning in person the camera doesn't do it justice but it is very beautiful in person i love this one this is probably my favorite um spd london gel uh poly signature gel this is this is my favorite color out of all of them love this one absolutely love it. it's gorgeous so i added my bead of the spd london signature gel and first things first spread that gel out evenly around the nail then i will concentrate on the cuticle area get that nice and neat there and then i will bring the the rest of the product down the nail spreading it out as i go patting and pressing and pulling really gently but also brushing and smoothing as i go so that i have less filing to do less filing the better in my opinion and i also add any bits where necessary where i think there's not enough product i will add more product to it as you saw previously so yeah just pat and press that get it as neat as you can get it with your brush like i said try and shape with your brush so that you're not having to do so much of the work with your nail file so i will let go of that nail for now and move on to the other one so on the middle finger same thing where distributing that product around the nail by manipulating it with the brush 
pat it in by that cuticle area get that cuticle area nice and flush and give it a nice rise so that it's going up in a slope to your apex then bring the rest of the product and spread it down the rest of the nail making sure that it's brought right the way down to the free edge and that the free edge isn't too thick because we don't want it to be too thick definitely not but we want good coverage opaqueness oops sorry about that noise though I hit the um hit the, the tripod um what was i saying totally lost my train of thought there <laughs> um yeah we want good color payoff so you want it thick enough so that you get the opaque even coverage of the color but you don't want it too thick because we are going to be needing to give these nails a bit more you know don't want um what's the word i'm looking for can't think of the word i'm looking for so i'm just going to use chunky <laughs> We don't want chunky nails because we're going to be adding some glitter and stuff and we do need to encapsulate that and to encapsulate it I'm going to use the builder in a bottle that you saw me show you in the beginning. The SPD London also do builder in a bottle so she has clear and various other colours of the builder in a bottle gels which are very nice to work with so if you are after a good builder in a bottle I do recommend the SBD London ones I have tried them out and I've used them and they are they're, they're very good what could I say it says does what it says on the tin they're good it's lovely stuff to work with I added a bit more after I flash cured that I added a bit more of the blush shimmer to this nail because it looked a bit patchy it wasn't quite as opaque as I liked it to be so I added a wee bit more to give it that even color coverage and then I'll flash cure that in place oh, I haven't flash cured it yet I'm going to use some of the rubber base coat to just use that to stick the um, glitter into so that iridescent glitter that's so pretty can you see how many colors it shifts to really pretty so I'm going to just use the rubber base coat to stick those glitters in place and then then I will flash cure them to hold them in place but yeah so I'm just going to distribute distribute those glitters where I would like them to be and I'm sort of following kind of the direction of the marble I'm not putting too many glitter particles on but you know we, we want a few because I do like my glitter do you like it a lot so I'll just add as many little bits as I would like and then I will leave that nail alone for now and on to the little finger I'm adding that builder in a bottle I'm just placing a thin layer of it on first of all so that's my slip layer and now I will use a bigger dollop on my brush and I will start capping that nail because I I don't actually have the clear acrylic so not acrylic the clear signature gel so I'm using the builder in a bottle to cap these nails it does the same thing you can mix gel with poly gel it is not a problem you can also use acrylic with poly gel it also not a problem they're all technically the same thing so it's no problem mixing and matching so I'm just going to turn the hand over to get the gel to pull into give me a nice apex and not sink into the um, sidewalls and the cuticle area so I just gave you a quick side profile look there so that you can see that I've got a nice apex on that nail now I will do the same on the other fingers so first of all get that slip layer down and then I will encapsulate with clear now you don't have to encapsulate these nails that don't have any ombre or glitter on them or marble you can build the nail with the blush shimmer it's not a problem you can do it with the misty rose as well but um, because I want to save my blush shimmer I don't want to use it all uh, I decided to cap it in the clear builder in a bottle and it also gives me that glass effect that I really really love I encapsulate everything with acrylic when I'm doing acrylic now so it's the same principle when you encapsulate with clear um, 
builder gel over the poly gel it gives you that glass effect and I just love the look of it and like I said it saves my colors so that I have them for a bit longer because I really like it <laughs> always always frugal as it, you know that's just how I roll so again slip layer down then get a larger bead on the brush work that over the nail and distribute it filling any dips of the nail and also building my apex like I mentioned so I'm just making sure that nail is totally encapsulated turn it over let gravity do the work of the apex for you which also draws it away from the side walls and the cuticle so it doesn't run into it and then flash cure it in place before moving on to the next nail same again on the index finger we will need to add the slip layer first of all this just allows the builder gel a what's the word i'm looking for i keep losing my words today it gives the gel somewhere to follow so you put the thin slip layer on and it kind of tells the gel where to go and it just flows easier over the nail so when you go in and add your bigger bead <clears throat> because you've put your slip layer on it will just sort of go where it's supposed to go but if you turn the hand over of course you will get it to give you a nice apex let gravity do the work for you darling don't you know, don't don't fight it just let gravity do it work use it to your advantage so i double cured those because like i said it's with the white especially you want to double cure it so that it cures all the way through then i removed the tacky layer with some of the slip solution you can also also use rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol to remove the tacky layer and now I will be doing the filing so I have left some of the filing in for you for my frosty filing freaks here you go if you are not interested in the filing I will put a timestamp right here so that you can fast forward and avoid the filing if you're not interested but for my frosty filing freaks we are doing the cuticle area first this is a diamond bit because with poly gel you can be very very precise with your application there's not much to do with the uh, cuticle area because it is pretty flush it's um yeah so not much to do there so i just used a diamond bit to go around that cuticle area to just make sure it's nice and flush and now i will use a, a hand file to sort out my free edge and my side walls Poly gel is much softer than acrylic. It files so much easier. It files like butter. So I do use a less harsh of a grit of a file on these things. And also, you know, with the cuticle area, very light touch with that cuticle bead that I used, uh, cuticle bit that I used because it does file very, very easily. And if you're using a harsh uh, e-file bit, it will just bite into that poly gel and take it away way more than you needed to. So do be careful because it is softer than acrylic. You, you do have to treat it much more gently than you do um, acrylic for sure so I'm just sorting out those side walls and the under arch and I'm looking at all of the nails together as a whole to make sure that they all look uniform that none of them are wider than the other ones kind of thing that they all follow the same shape and then I will use my hand file to go up one side of the nail then around the cuticle area down the other side of the nail and then I will do the middle area of the nail and my hands were hurting so I decided to switch to my e-file to save my poor fingers and it's the same principle with the sanding band we are contouring that nail making sure it's lovely and rounded off and has a nice flow and shape to it we also do not want to file away our apex so do be aware of that don't file your apex too much we'll also make sure that they're nice and smooth and that there are no lumps or bumps dips or rivets we don't want any of those so just blend that cuticle area in go down the barrel of the nail 
and then you can yeah we're just using the e-file to bring out the best shape of the nail I mean most of the shape is already there because the way I applied the builder gel and encapsulated with it because gel is so self-leveling it if you use it to your advantage by holding the nails upside down it will pretty much give you the shape of the nails that you need so there's not much finish filing to do after that which is something I absolutely love so finished that filing removed the dust and now I'm going to apply some of these cute stickers I thought of that it's so cute so I'm just deciding where I want these to go I'm sticking a few on because they're just they're adorable I mean they are they just I looked at them and I was like I'm gonna have to do a kawaii set of nails it just screams kawaii to me and the baby pink and it just all just told me do a set of kawaii nails had to be done so that's what I'm doing so I'm just choosing which bears I would like on which nails and for the marble I chose this little bow isn't that adorable but it won't stick on you keep dropping it <laughs> they're fiddly little things they're tiny um yeah there's so many stickers on this sheet to choose from it's crazy <clears throat> so I've got this um row of bows and I thought that would look cute in between that marble and the glitter so I put that on as well because you know kawaii bows it all makes sense to me and yeah so stick them on so cosily they're stickers so you don't need to do anything apart from peel them off the base and then stick them on and I decided to put a bow on that ring finger as well why not so now I'm going to use the mold so I'm going to make my own em embellishments to put on the top of the nails so I'm going to use the white so I'm just using the spatula that comes with them you can get a trial kit and a mini trial kit which has this spatula and the signature gels for a really really good price um, do check out the website it's well worth it you get a lot for your money so I will use the spatula to spread that signature gel into those molds so I did the white on those bows and now I'm they're curing whilst I'm doing the hearts I'm doing some of the misty rose pink spreading that into those molds into the you know the holes in the molds of course just filling them if you're neater than me you won't have to faff as much but when you remove them but I've made a right mess spreading um, the signature gel everywhere <laughs> I've made such a mess be neater than me then you won't have to faff around and clean them up afterwards like I did but yeah so now I'm using some of the blush shimmer into the molds as well why not get all different colors I'm going to stick some of that in the bows as well uh, because I'm I, I wasn't sure about what I was going to use and how many I was going to use I literally just did a few of each shape um, in the different colors and used them afterwards basically so I did still have a few left that I didn't use which I can use later on if you just put them in a little, little pot they'll be there ready to go you can also make these in advance and just have them in a little pot ready to go to add on to any set you feel like it so yeah these molds are pretty handy and they're not they're not expensive at all definitely not but they're worth having and they're so cute I mean how fun is it to make your own embellishments I mean I enjoy that I do enjoy that. it is fiddly I'll show you when I remove them from the mold what I mean but it's fun it's yeah for me it's playtime and I like like my little crafty bits so this caters to my crafty bits and to my you know obsession with nails <laughs> so I'll just remove the tacky layer with the slip solution from the mold because the dispersion layer will be on top but it won't be in the molds because the air hasn't gotten to it on the other side so this is what they look like when you remove them now this is what I mean about messy 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 because I made such a mess of the molds I am going to have to cut away the excess uh, 
signature gel from around the pieces so that's what I'm going to do now which is very very fiddly so I'm just holding it with some tweezers and I'm using my little tiny scissors and I'm just going to cut away the excess poly gel from around those shapes and it is a little bit time consuming which is why I'm saying you should probably do these things in advance so that you're not you know faffing about with a client watching you do this because that would be a nightmare you don't want that so def if, you, if you're doing it on a client definitely make these in advance of your client attending their appointment for sure and then you can just pull out your little pot of your pre-made bits and bobs and use them and there you go that tiny heart i was just giving you a, a perspective kind of thing on how tiny that heart is it's so small but it's so cute so I will continue cutting out the bits and just filing the edges a little bit smoother just to make them look a bit nicer and a bit neater and yeah once I finished all of that I will indeed stick them on the nails so I'll just show you another piece. So this is a, a, a slightly larger heart and I'm just cutting away the excess uh, signature gel and then gently filing the outside of it and just making sure it's nice and smooth and doesn't have any sort of sticky out sharp bits on it at all. And there we go, there's a heart. So once I've finished all of that, I will also wipe them over with a bit of um, slip solution and a lint-free pad just to get the dust off them as well so now we can apply them so i'm going to use the rubber base coat put a layer of that in rubber base coat is a very thick base coat so it's really good for adhering things and sinking them into so i'm going to apply a layer of that on first of all Like I said it's very very thick so don't go overboard otherwise you'll you will lose the shape of your nails and you don't want to do that SBD London have a thinner um, base coat if that's what you prefer so you don't have to get the rubber base coat if that's not what you're after if you need a thinner base coat she does do one of those too just check out the website like I said there's lots there to look at and to have or oh, it's I look at that website and I just want everything have to restrain myself <laughs> so now that I have cured that that has sealed my stickers safely in the nail so it's kind of encapsulating the stickers with the base, uh, rubber base because it is so thick and then I will use the Tony Lee jewelry gel from Miss You Beauty which is awesome for holding on bigger pieces now that bear is quite weighty and heavy so if I was to use the diamond gel it could possibly slide off the nail um, and even with the the jewelry gel being as thick as it is it's still sliding <clears throat> so just uh, just bear that in mind you could use acrylic to apply that um, big bear crystal as well you can use the signature gel to hold it in place too but I like to use the Tony Lee jewelry gel it's one of my faves so that's what I'm using so I'm just going to apply rare you know different bits and bobs so I'm using some of the pearls the half pearls I'm using some pointy backed crystals I'm using some caviar beads and these larger kind of caviar beads they're like they look like bubbles because they're iridescent little balls and but they're bigger than the standard caviar beads they just look gorgeous so yeah I'm just going to randomly place whatever I fancy wherever I fancy it going and build up these kawaii style nails which is what makes them kawaii they have a lot going on big sticky up bits <laughs> It's not often that you get to do a set of nails that has like loads and loads of embellishments on top of it. So these were really fun to do, but it was time consuming to add it. Well, not only making the embellishments, but also adding them it does take a bit of time. So once I've got all I want on that nail, I will flash cure it in place to stop those bits from sliding off. Again, applying some of the jewelry gel 
wherever I'm going to place my embellishments and this time I'm using the rose that I got out of the mold I've got the bow and I'm going to add on some crystals and caviar beads and all of that good stuff all over again so whilst I do all of this I will let you watch that in peace because it's pretty self-explanatory and then after I've done all of those I will be back to tell you when we're well not to tell you back to speak to you again when we're top coating so enjoy the music and I'll be back If you're still watching and you've made it this far in the video, drop a teddy bear emoji down in the comments section below so that I can see how many of you are actually watching all of my videos. That's, um, yeah, I'm curious. So yeah, if you're still here, drop a teddy bear emoji down in the comments section so I know if you're actually watching my videos or not. Mm. We'll see who shows up, shall we? Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'll let you carry on watching it, peace.
What if the story ends? What if we lose again? finally finished applying all those embellishment, embellishments and now it's time to top it off and keep it tough we're at the end of the video i really really hope you've enjoyed this uh, video and this set of nails hope you like them um thank you ever so much for visiting my channel and watching this video and spending some of your most precious time with me i appreciate you thank you if you have not already subscribed, I would love to have you in the Frosty fam. So please click that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you know the next time I upload a new video on my channel. Also, if this video has helped you or you've enjoyed it in any way, shape or form, please go ahead and click that like button because that gives me an indication that you are enjoying the content from my channel. And it's, you know, it's a bit of feedback for me and it helps my channel out with the algorithm. So I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much and if you feel up to it you are most welcome to leave me a comment I'm always happy to talk to you so that's all I've got for this video this time peeps you take care now and I'll speak to you all again soon bye for now oh forgot to say video footage and photos at the end of the video as usual anyway that's it okay bye <laughs>